And now, for some more media madness, Lannis Kempfield. Uh, welcome to Media Madness. We start out today with where your income tax money really goes. This is from a uh, pamphlet put out by the War Resisters League, and if you have any uh, questions about this and other topics about resisting war, you could call them at uh, 228-0450. That's 212, of course. Get your crayons out because the number is 228-0450. So uh, here's, uh, this is the 1995 uh, federal budget for fiscal year 95, 27% to current military, that's $302 billion. 25% goes to past military, that's like veterans benefit, interest on the national debt, which is 80%, $249 billion. And then human resources, which is like Virtually everything helps uh, people, education, health, human services. So that's wait. So that's 53 percent is uh, for defense. Right? Goes directly toward defense. War, yeah. Go towards war, actually. I would call it Offer. offense. Yes. So 28 percent goes to people, and then the general government, which is the Justice Department, that you know pays for your massacre of uh, people in Waco and things like that, internal affairs. Oh, the Peace Corps, however, is a small element there. And 20% of that is the interest on a national debt. And, a, and, and the rich people get, and the rich country goes to, some of it goes to Japan, right? Oh, yeah. Well, we and agriculture, commerce, energy, HUD, community development, the Interior Department, Transportation and Environmental Protection gets a grand 6% of the total of $1.139 a trillion. Dollars. See, the government is really deceptive. We can pan down a little bit. You can see this pie here. The pie chart here on the lower right there is the administration's view of the budget and similar to the figures you'll see in your IRS booklet or from the media. This is the distortion of how income taxes are spent because it includes trust funds like Social Security and buries the expenses of past military expending in non-military parts of the pie. For more accurate representation of your federal income tax dollars really spent, see the large chart above. Right? Over half of it, right? And this is for fiscal 1995, okay? In the next five years, for instance, the Pentagon will spend $1.3 trillion for so-called defense of the U.S. That's $400,000 a minute for guns, missiles, submarines. $400,000 a minute, which means the time it took me to say that's probably about $80,000. Tick, 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 tick. You don't need a clock to know you feel stupid paying out your taxes about now, right? Yet people do not f feel safe in their homes, of course, but that's a different topic. The 95 budget includes $28 billion for so-called secret military programs, this so-called black budget, right? You mean like radiating the American public and... and feeding, uh, feeding, uh, 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 feeding uh, uh, radioactive cereal to retarded youngsters, things like that. LSD to people. PCP, things like that. So, uh, people have called for a peace dividend. So, why are we still spending all our hard earned tax dollars teaching young people to kill, which is what you do, what happens in the military? Uh, let's give them scholarships to become doctors for rural communities, for instance. And foreign countries will welcome U.S. doctors instead of soldiers, perhaps. With that 400000 a minute, let's retrain workers who build military weapons to build trains and buses or fix our roads, bridges, clean up the environment. Let's take billions from Star Wars-type military systems and create a Star Wars to fight AIDS, breast cancer, infant mortality. You know, we're way down on the list in infant mortality in the, in the world. Uh, we're the richest country. We have the best uh, well, we uh, health here. system in the world, and we yet... We're 19th in the world in infant mortality. So I guess it's just a way of uh, keeping our population down. 
So uh, if uh, if you want if you want to get a copy of this chart, uh, like I said before, call the War Resisters League at uh, three or go to three thirty nine Lafayette. They're in the phone book. Too. In New York, they're in the phone book. But if you have your crayon out, the number is two two eight zero four five zero. Well, uh, we're back to the year two thousand twenty from 1995. Since Lanny is no longer around to do an update, I'm going to tell you where your income tax money really goes according to the War Resisters League who has put out this flyer which you can find on their website. It's a pie chart and it'll tell you exactly where your money is going to go. Actually, 47% of it goes to the military, and that's $1,644 billion goes to the military. Now, there's two kinds of military. There's the past military and the current military. Uh, 948 billion goes to the current military. That is total outlays, military personnel, 174 billion dollars, uh, operation and maintenance, $295 billion, procurement, $142 billion, research and development, $105 billion, construction, $11 billion, family housing, $1.6 billion, rev fund and adjust, point four billion dollars. Now, uh, non-DOD military spending, whatever that means, uh, retiree repay health care, ninety-five billion dollars. Uh, DOE nuke weapons cleanup, twenty-eight billion dollars. NASA, Twelve billion dollars. Internal Security Administration, thirteen billion dollars. Homeland Security, military, four billion dollars. State Department, partial, uh, eight billion dollars. FBI, military, twelve billion dollars. Treasury Security. Uh, service other $11 billion. That's the current military in this pie chart, which you can see at the top. Now, there's the past military, which is all the uh, people who were in the military before. That's $696 billion. And that is veterans' benefits. Two hundred thirty six billion dollars. Uh, interest on national debt, uh, four hundred and sixty billion dollars, estimated to be created by eighty eighty percent estimated to be created by military spending. The total outlay of federal funds is three thousand four hundred eighty five billion dollars. Now so that means that 47% of your tax dollar, which you will pay in July, uh, will go for military spending, Ma maybe even more. Now, besides that, non-military spending is 53% of your tax dollars, which is $108.41 billion. Now, what does this go for? general government, whatever that is, 
uh, you can imagine. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, $183 billion goes for human resources. That's 44%. Now, what are these human resources? Uh, treasury, including 20% interest on debt. Uh, government personnel. Hmm, is that a human resource? Justice Department, State Department, partial, Homeland Security, partial, Internal Security Assistant, partial, Judicial, and Legislative. So, uh, that's $183 billion of your tax money goes for that. Now, there's another category here. Physical resources, hmm, 4%. Uh, now what is that? Well, here in non-military is also Health and Human Services, Social Security Administration, uh, Education, Food and Nutrition Program, HUD, Labor Department, uh, Earned in Income and Child Credits, and Health Insurance Credits. And that's 1520 $1, billion dollars for that. And uh, I guess the $138 billion dollars goes for physical resources. Uh, now, uh, here's the flyer again, if you can see it close up. You can see it on the website of the War Resisters League if you want to study it yourself and find out where your tax money is going. <clears throat> How these figures were determined. Current military includes Department of Defense, $728 billion, and the military portion, $220 billion from other departments as noted in current military box above. Past military represents veterans' benefits plus 80% of the interest on the debt. For further explanation, please go to warresistorsleague.org. These figures are from an analysis of detailed tables in Analytical Perspectives book of the budget of the United States government, fiscal year 2021. The figures are federal funds, which do not include trust funds, such as Social Security, that are raised and spent separately from income tax. Well, I didn't know that. Uh, what you pay or don't pay by April 15th, 2020, it's actually July 15th, it's been extended, uh, goes to the federal funds portion of the budget. The government practice of combining trust and federal funds began during the Vietnam War, thus making the human needs portion of the budget seem larger and the military portion seem smaller. Huh. Analysts differ on how much of the debt stems from the military. Other groups estimate 50% to 60%. We use 80% because we believe if there had been no military spending, most of the national debt would have been eliminated. Huh. Now, there's another part of this chart which is called government deception. Here, I'll show it to you. Uh, now, the pie chart right is the government view of the budget. This is a distortion of how our income tax dollars are spent because it includes trust funds, Social Security, and most of the past military spending is not distinguished from non-military spending. 
For a more accurate representation of how your federal income tax dollar is really spent, see the large, dra the large graph. Yeah. Okay, now that's the War Resisters League, 168 Canal Street, number 600, New York, New York, 10013-212-228-0450 or www.warresistors.org. Okay. Now, what else the War Resisters League put out is this flyer called 75 Years of Nuclear Terror. Abolish all nuclear weapons. Now, uh, in 1945, the United States launched the nuclear arms race by obliterating Hiroshima and Nagasaki, killing hundreds of thousands instantly, and over time, thousands more from radiation poisoning. You probably know about this already. Despite cries of never again, today nine countries possess 14,000 nuclear weapons. And Trump wants to make more, too. A single bomb can destroy a city and kill millions. Two-thirds of the world's countries recognize the danger and want a nuclear weapons-free world. Now, the United States is a pariah, increasing its nuclear weapons funding under President Obama and Trump, renewing the arms race with the creation of diabolical new warheads, uh, refusing to persist, participate in the 2017 Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. Huh. Now, this shows you that 136 countries support the UN Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. This is the black area in the pie chart. Over here. That's the majority of countries support the abolition of nuclear weapons. Now, 21 countries are undecided about the treaty. 31 nuclear weapons complicit countries, and they tell you who they are, uh, are Albania, Armenia, Australia, Belarus, Belgium, Bulgaria, Canada, Croatia, Czechia, Denmark, Estonia, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Iceland, Italy, Japan, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Montenegro, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, South Korea, Spain, Turkey. Hmm. They endorsed or acquiesced to the possession and potential use of nuclear weapons on their behalf. Source, Nuclear Weapons Ban Monitor. Now, nine nations are nuclear weapons country. Probably you know who they are. China, France, India, Israel, North Korea, Pakistan, Russia, the UK, and the US. 
even if a bomb were never detonated, nuclear weapons, one, generate fear, sow distrust, threaten rivals, and are prone to catastrophic miscalculation. Two, destroy the environment through mining on indigenous lands, releasing poisons during production, testing transportation storage, and using depleted uranium bullets in today's wars. Poison workers, soldiers, civilians, for the reasons listed above, are obsolete. They didn't prevent dozens of wars since World War II or stop terrorism. Nukes are a source of terror, are costly. $50 billion a year for the next 10 years, unless we say no, fund health care, schools, homes, infrastructures, etc. Well, what you can do. Uh, contact the War Resisters League. Once again, their address is 168 Canal Street in New York, New York, number 600, zip code 10013, telephone 212 228-0450, and email WRL at warresisters.org. Homo erectus is uh, the name given to uh, ancient modern man. Modern, modern man is Homo sapiens, and then there's something called Homo sapiens sapiens. That's us. Also known as Homo sap. It's a direct line. They probably were fertile with each other, don't you think? Yeah. Well. So, so this is a song uh, about the future of Homo erectus. Homo erectus headed for a fall. Wonder how you've managed to survive at all. Who finds the acreage when you got to eat? Did you think that apples had always fall at your feet? Ice age arrived without a suitcase. Global warming stumps in prodigal sun. That's S-U-N. Third world's supposed to lift self by its boot lays. Oh, won't that be fun? Homo erectus, more billions at your breast. Wonder how you're going to milk that test. Won't that be fun? Homo erectus. Beat the commie, hun. Finally killed the plague that comrade Jesus begun. Wasn't that fun? Ha, 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 ha. So now, homo erectus, guns in every hand. Listen to the carnage of the capitalist band. Black Tuesday still returning. Fasting Sabbath on the way. Gloomy Monday, New York's burning. Won't that be fun? A homo erectus heading for a fall. Wonder if we'll manage to survive at all. So now, how much time we got? Uh, this is from. So it's coming up on two minutes. 
We got three minutes more? Four or minutes. Four minutes more, okay. Um, this is from Time Magazine of January 31, 1994. Just in case you hadn't heard, the 60s are over. It finally happened. Bob Dylan has allowed the times they are changing to be used in an advertisement on TV. The ad went on the air this month, but it was not the first or only the most amazing example of the commercial use of a rebellious classic. The times they are changing uh, is being used by an accountant firm for an undisclosed sum. Uh, Richie Havens, the, the company cannot use Dylan's name even when discussing the spot. Now, there are two theories about that. One is that he's ashamed of it, more shame to him. The other is that he wanted more money if they used his name. The next is uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Teach Your Children. Teach your children now to wear fruit of the loom underwear. The fruit of the loom underwear. That's the 2,000-year-old man's favorite underwear. And uh, Nike is uh, sponsoring the revolution by the Beatles. Uh, at least Michael Jackson owns the rights. You know, like other people own the rights to his song, he owns the rights to the Beatles song. It's a labor dick of wealth. 500,000 bucks. <laughs> well, now Miss John is going to get. Born to be mild. Steppenwolf, the Ford Mercury Cougar. Yuppie ad, they say. Uh, the Rolling Stones Snickers and the dental industry of America present Snickers candy bars. Holy shit, an irresistible offer, four million bucks, 2.8 million going to the composers, com decomposers, I think. What was that song by Mozart? Oh, is he still composing? No, madam, decomposing. And Turn, Turn, Turn by the Birds. Product Time, the weekly news magazine. Pete Seeger and the Book of Ecclesiastes. I wonder if God gets a cut. Now, that was Solomon, but he probably shares it with God. And uh, and this just in. Thule Cooperberg, Fugger extraordinaire, has turned down a tempting multi-bucks offer from the U.S. Marine Corps to use his 60s soccer. Kill for peace for their new, a few bad men, recruitment drive, said Thule. There is some sheet music I will not eat. 